Yeah, I think it'd be, I think I'd, if I was a weapons dealer, I'm not saying I'm going to do any of this. I usually don't do anything I'm going to say. But, like, if I was a weapons dealer, I'd be a, such a nice weapons dealer. I'd give them all the weapons to the good guys. Or, you know, whoever, you know, I'd be like, I, I would, if I sat down and I had, like, a thousand AK-47s, uh, M4s or handguns or whatever they buy, shotguns, I think, in the jungle, because you can't shoot that far because you can't see, so you might as well get a shotgun and it'll chop up all the leaves and you'll be able to see what you're shooting, at least. Well, whatever they buy in the in, in the jungle, if they're shooting at each other or whatever, I just I want to you know I, I want to look people in the eye and I want to say, "Promise me you're one of the good guys." That's what I would do if I was a weapons dealer, and I think that should be law that every weapons dealer, if you want to uh, work as a weapons dealer, you have to make the people that buy it swear they're the good guys, right? Like, all you morally correct in everything you do? You know, and most people would probably say yes, which could be the flaw in it. People could just, you know, people don't can't really see, you know, themselves. So maybe in order in, instead of having, you know, uh, you know, a guy buy a gun, maybe your best friend's got to come in with you and say he's a good guy. You know, you can take it from me. So uh, and, and if that doesn't work and if he gets just a guy to lie to him or maybe they're both morally on the same thing and think that, you know, perhaps it's justice to go out and shoot a bunch of like ladies or something, which I don't think that's OK. But let's say they did, you know, then if you can't trust a friend, you'd have to hire somebody whose job could be I'm going to hang out with this guy for three days. Right. I'm going to ask him some questions, see what he's all about. And then after those three days, he'll go to the gun shop and he'll be like, listen, this guy wants a gun real bad. But I tell you what, he is a loose cannon. He's on the fortune. He's on the Internet on the fortune talking with all the other fortuners. And, uh, you know, he, he's sitting there and he's he's out of his mind. He says, these ladies, I hate these ladies. These ladies today ain't giving up the goods. And I have never had the goods. I'm one of those guys, you know. Because uh, it turns out that most of the shootings nowadays take place because these, these ladies have all the goods and they're not giving any of the guys any of the goods. And he's like, they're nuts about it. They're nuts. They've been inside for two months. They haven't got any of the goods. They haven't gotten anything. And, you know, I don't know if they're masturbating, if they're masturbating too much, if they're masturbating not enough, if it's just a sex thing. Uh, you know, I, I it, it, it applies in. I read that there's a lot of guys that are virgins, like 27 percent of guys like under 30. Well, not counting children, because that's a rude that's a rude study. You shouldn't ask any underage people if they're still virgins, you know. And if you do, it's got to be in a professional environment with someone they trust. You just can't have like a bully come in. Hey, what's up, virgin? You know, you can't have that knocking his books out of his hands. I'm just playing. Don't ask kids if they're virgins. But anyway, you know, I feel like that would be a fair question. Maybe we, we shouldn't sell guns to virgins. You know, I've had sex. I don't have any kids to prove it, but um, or video evidence. I can't prove to anyone that I've had sex. You know, I'm sure I've bought condoms every once in a while, but, you know, it's been a minute. I don't know if I have the receipts, but uh, you shouldn't sell guns to virgins. You know, maybe they'll, you know. Maybe we could clear this whole thing up. But when you go to buy a gun, maybe there's a lady that works for the gun store. And she said, well, we can't buy any guns to virgins, but you may, let's go in the back. And, you know, we could have a, a role, you know, and this would be her job, you know. And uh, they go and they have a role for her and they don't even want the guns anymore after because it's like, guess what? I was going to do crazy stuff with this gun. That's what they'll tell. They'll, let, they'll do pillow talk after. And they're like, I don't even want to buy a gun anymore because I just had sex. 